Hey guys, you gotta watch this video. This guy hits a home run and then throws the bat up. And it stays up for a really long time. I got a timer going right here. And it stays up for 11.83 seconds. So let's figure out how high did the bat reach. We can visualize the path of the bat as a parabola, where the horizontal axis can be t for time in seconds, and the vertical axis can be h for the height that the bat goes. So we're interested in this point right here, how high did the bat reach? So this is the formula we're going to use. The height is equal to negative 4.9 t squared plus the initial velocity times time plus the initial height. So we'll call the initial height zero because the top of the bat is really close to the ground as he throws it. And we don't know the initial velocity, but we do know at the time 11.83 seconds, the height once again was zero. So we can use this information to find the initial velocity. Let's copy down our equation. Let's give ourselves some space. Let's plug in zero. And in the place of these t's, let's plug in 11.83. And in the place of the h, let's plug in zero. Negative 4.9 times 11.83 squared is negative 685.75. And let's copy down everything else. Let's add 685.75 to both sides. We end up with 685.75 is equal to 11.83 times the initial velocity. After we divide both sides by 11.83, we get the initial velocity is 57.97. And that's measured in meters per second. And if you're curious, that's about 208.69 kilometers per hour or 129.68 miles per hour. So that's pretty fast. We can update the initial velocity up here to 57.97. And now we don't need this stuff anymore. Now that we know our initial velocity, here's our new equation representing the height. So now to find this maximum height, we first need to plug in this point right here, which we know is 11.83. The axis of symmetry will go through that maximum point. We can find this axis of symmetry by taking the average of these two x-intercepts. And that's gonna give us 5.915. And so now we take our equation again, plug in 5.915 for t, and we get our height of 171.5 meters. And that is the answer to our question. How exciting.